Yeah, that's pretty cool. But I mean, how is that even possible? How can you do that? Eric, huh? it works because you unlock the hotel TV with a magic secret code. Oh yeah, that's right. I did that. But I mean, you're supposed to say that I'm pretty awesome and smart as well, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess. I mean, you're no genius for doing this, but it sure unlocks the TV. Get on with the episode now, please. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Uh, let's start. But before we start, we need to set something up because this is it's a bit bright. The TV. You can see that. Google change TV brightness to zero. Yeah, that's better. Nice. And this light. Hey Google. Change Lampa 4 to 10%. Yeah, Google. So smart. Like, she knows English and Swedish. I can just do whatever. It seems like it's, it's amazing. So, I'm just gonna close this door because the, the neighbors will think that I'm. that I'm crazy. So, this episode will be about unlocking hotel room TVs. Right? You're excited? Of course you're excited. Just a little background. I'm in Portugal, in Lisbon. I've been staying in this hotel room for three weeks. And of course, I brought my smart hotel kit. This is my smart hotel kit. It contains everything you need to create a smart hotel room. Light bulbs, switches, servers, routers, everything, everything you need. All right. Basically what I've done is just to copy all of my smart home stuff and solutions put it into a box that I can bring with me so I can keep on living a smart life while I'm away. But one thing that I can't bring with me is a TV, of course. But the hotel rooms has TVs, right? Yeah, they do. But the problem with them is that they're in this weird mode called hospitality mode, which makes them kind of unusable for a smart hotel kit. It's impossible to include them in your smart hotel kit. With a locked hotel room TV, I wouldn't be able to do the things that I just did. Make the server, turn the TV on, change the brightness. That wouldn't be possible with a locked hotel TV. So this time, when I came here to Lisbon, I thought I need a solution for this to include all the hotel room TVs into my smart hotel kit. So that is what we're going to talk about today. And to you people that are currently in a hotel room and you just Google to find a solution to unlock your hotel TV and you ended up with this weird video with this guy and you're like, why isn't he giving me the code to unlock the TV? I will give the code to you, but I, will, I promise you, you will get so much more out of this video, this hotel TV unlock video than all the other videos out there where they just show you the TV, but they don't talk anything about the responsibility that comes with being a hotel TV unlocker. Because that is what I realized when I got my first key to unlock this TV. I didn't know anything about what I was doing, what I was getting into. I unlocked the TV, I accidentally changed one setting and the TV was just useless. Couldn't use it. It was... <sighs> I kind of panicked because it didn't work anymore. It was just it was just blank and I thought this is embarrassing I don't want to leave the hotel room with a broken TV it's uh, I mean someone has to put work into fixing it and that's not okay so with the code to the TVs comes responsibility and that is what you need to understand it's just not about unlocking the TV doing your shit and then leave it that's not okay it's not okay for the personnel that has to fix it it's not okay for the next guest maybe they just get your room and then the tv doesn't work and it's also important for the future because if we don't take the responsibility for the knowledge that we possess it's going to get harder to unlock the tvs in the future they're going to lock them down even harder we don't want that it's perfect the way it is right now if if we just have the codes we can do our stuff and then just uh, get them back in the way they were when we when we came to the hotel room and everyone is happy all right so that's what this is all about let's start talking about just unlocking it and what you have to think about 
okay? This is the remote, this is a Samsung TV, and I'm gonna give you the Samsung Unlock code. There's thousands of codes out there, and I'm gonna put some links in the description to sites that list them. Just before I give you the code, promise me, do not touch anything after you've put in the code. The moment after putting in the code is the most crucial, all right? So just put in the code, release the remote, all right? So the code for this TV is mute button one, one, nine, enter button. All right, we're in the menu now. Don't touch, don't touch the remote, don't do anything. All right, just take a few moments to look at the menu. Because the thing is, if you accidentally just change one thing, you might lose so much more than just, just that setting. You, you might lose like half the menu and all the settings that were in that menu, they're gone. And you don't know a thing about what those settings were. This is what I, was what I did when I did this first time. I entered the code and I was like, yeah, yeah. Started, started looking around and I just accidentally changed one thing, uh, turn, on the, turn off the TV, turn it on again. And, it was not usable, it was just blank. Couldn't do anything with it, couldn't watch TV, couldn't uh, look at the hotel, restaurant, menu, pff, nothing, couldn't do anything. And it was hell getting the settings back. I spent like three hours just trying the, all the different settings there was about the hospitality mode before I, all of a sudden I got the hotel page back. It's still not like in the same state as when I came, but it's it's good enough. It's good enough. The next guest will not notice anything. So my tip to you right now is to get a phone, start recording and just walk through all the menus so you have all the current settings. So if you accidentally change something and you want to go back, you know what it was in the beginning. I'll just give you an example of how to get this TV back to the state that it was when I came. It's, it's not that obvious. So this hotel, they use the widget solution. So if you enter the widget solution, you need to turn the widget on, back, and you're supposed to use a vendor server, not the sync server. What the hell is a sync server? What's a vendor server? How are you supposed to know this? You don't know this, that's what I'm saying. If you lose these settings, you have to, you have to go through all of them to get it back. So that's what I did. I chose vendor server and after you've done your stuff, you just turn the TV off and then you turn it on again. And hopefully we will just get back to the state that the TV is when you arrive to the hotel room. Come on. Yeah, all right. So now all of a sudden it starts loading something here. Wow, this TV is slow. Wow. Come on, stop loading. All right, we're back, kind of. Nice. And yeah, it works the same way as it did when I came. I can feel that I've taken the responsibility that's on me as a hotel TV unlocker. Feels very good. Okay, so just a couple of more things. I'm just going to turn this off again. Uh, go into the menu, mute, one, one, nine, enter. What, what can you actually do with this menu? You can do whatever you want. You get back all the TV settings that the TV has when it's in a, like a normal state, when you buy it in a store. And what I did, I just went in and changed like the, the standard power on source. I want HDMI 1 to be my standard power on source because I have my Chromecast there, my Chromecast that be belongs to the hotel kit. I also switched from wired connection to Wi-Fi can do that you can go into the network settings so I switched to wired and I connected it to my hotel kit router Wi-Fi which makes it pop up in my home automation system and that gives me smart control over the TV I can voice control it I can change a lot of weird settings and I can voice control to change the channel or whatever all the things that I can do at home it's great it's it's great all right, so I'm gonna turn the TV off again and get our nice picture back. Okay, there we go. That's pretty much it. I hope you came for what you got. I got, you got, you got. I hope you got what you came for. 
And if you have any reason to unlock a hotel TV, don't be afraid. You can do it. The codes are out there. Just remember, be careful and be responsible, right? For all our sake, for the future of the hotel TV unlockers, for the future of my smart hotel kit, please be careful, be responsible. All right. See you later. I'll turn off the TV and turn off the lights. Google, turn TV off. All right. That's just great to be able to do that. Oh, amazing. All right. I'm going to bed now. So boom, 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 boom. Oof. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Hey, I just realized I don't, I don't want to end that way. I want to end another way. Google, aktivera filmläge. Okay, aktivera filmläge. This is what you can do if you unlock your hotel TV and have a smart hotel kit. All right. Nice. Oh. Come on. I have a super crappy oh, Wi-Fi connection. You need that too in a hotel kit, a, a good Wi-Fi connection. So I'm going to fix that next time. I'm not going to bed. I'm, I'm going to watch a movie. All right.